Hey guys, it seems that every year I see some of the same questions on the Facebook groups and forums. And one question is, what's better to start out with? A sonar or a camera? We're going to be talking about that on this week's Fish and Tips. Before we get into this video, I just want to say that I've done two separate videos already reviewing both these products on their own so if you haven't seen those make sure that you go to my fish and tips playlist and check those out the question we're asking is which is better to start with if you're just getting into ice fishing should you go with an underwater camera or a sonar unit and for that we just need to look at the portability and how useful it is across many other lakes and then how fun it is to use it. Let's start out with a few pros and cons. One pro for the flasher or sonar unit is that it's portable and most cases it's going to be lighter than your camera and it's going to give you a lot of the information that you'll pretty much ever need when you're on the ice. And the camera is, it's a lot of fun and this one is very portable. Uh, they do make bigger models, and depending on which model you get, it may be more or less portable than other ones. This AquaView Micro Revolution 5 Pro is very portable, it fits in my pocket, but they make ones that are the size of this whole flasher unit, and those are not that portable. But the main issue with portability with the camera is that you have to unwind a cord, set it to look at your bait, and that can just kind of be a pain in the butt, especially if you're chasing schools of, say, perch or crappie who are going to be moving around a lot on you. That's a case where you're going to want to go with your sonar instead of the camera. But if you can get away with it, I'd say go with the camera whenever you can. But that's really not the question here is it's what do you start out with first? And to be honest, you should just go with a sonar unit they make all types of different sonar units i started with the ice 35 from hummingbird a lot of people started with the fl8 from vexlar markham has its m1 i believe is its lowest model or the showdown and those are fairly affordable and it's going to give you a lot of information that you didn't have before i personally started with an underwater camera not this one it was one of those old tube style TV ones that had the little five inch screen with about that much screen behind it. And that was really not very portable at all. But now with this camera, this one's much more portable. It fits in my pocket. I can use it as a scouting tool. I can use it as for seeing what kind of fish there is. There's a lot of things I can use it for, but most of the time, that depends on water clarity too. Some of you don't have lakes that are crystal clear, and if you only have two foot visibility on your lake, then a camera is really not gonna be all that useful. And in that case, you're gonna wanna go with the sonar unit over the flasher. So that's gonna do it for this week's Fish and Tips video. Make sure that you guys are subscribed so you don't miss a single Fish and Tips video or one of my Wednesday videos. I'm producing two videos a week, we're getting closer to ice fishing. I want to do more ice fishing content for you, but I also want to keep doing some fall content for you. So make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, and you can also follow my Facebook and Instagram pages. I'll have the links down below in the description for you. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video.